I don't know how to do this video. It feels weird not doing it like professionally. How do you, I don't know. This feels weird to talk about right now. But I want to, that's what I do. I like memories and keeping memories. Um, so I don't even feel like I look that good right now. But I want to do this before people get home. Um, okay, so today is August 10th. So like nine days ago on August 1st, early in the morning, ironically, um, on my way to a baby shower, I found out I was pregnant or am pregnant. I am pregnant. Um, that's the difficulty of recording on an iPhone. Sometimes you don't have footage because you record way too much. Um, so back to what I was saying, I'm currently six weeks and one day pregnant. I have my first ultrasound and OBGYN appointment on the 24th. And this is kind of a weird experience for me because um, this is going on a different channel, but if you've watched my original channel, um, What Up KT, I was married. I got divorced. It has almost been a year since we have separated and are going through our divorce. And um, this is not how I expected uh, getting pregnant to be for me at 25. I, you know, I'm not in a relationship with the person I am having the baby with. I, I mean, it's a very complicated type of relationship and it's kind of changed since this experience. Um, it is very low key at the moment, obviously. I have not told the people, the family I live with yet, which will be interesting. I have not told my dad yet. I have told my mom knows. Um, one of my best friends knows. The father of the child knows. Um, my current boyfriend knows, which is a whole other thing. Um, and another one of my friends knows. Um, and that's pretty much all who know. Obviously, because it's early, I want to keep it um, very quiet. But this is going to be a journey and an experience, and um, I struggled within in the first when I found out. It's only been like a week since I found out, but I've definitely struggled with it. You know, going back and forth. You know, abortion did cross my mind, um, but I nixed it because that's not who I am. I don't believe in abortion. Well, when I say I don't believe in abortion, I know abortion happens. I just personally do not believe it is something that is right for me, and so yeah. A lot of decisions and still a lot of decisions. This is going to be a roller coaster and I don't know what to do. Um, but it's going to be an experience that I hope will be good and I'm going to try my best to share with you. And mainly though, this is for me to look back on um, and my child to eventually look back on. So yeah, this has kind of been crazy. Um, where to begin? Let's talk about how I kind of knew I was pregnant. Obviously, the first sign was that I was late. Um, and that's not the first time this has happened, me being late, but it became to the point where I was a week late. So I did take a pregnancy test and it came back positive. Um, although the first time it came back positive, I actually kind of I didn't really pay attention to it. And I thought, it, for some reason, my brain was just like, no, I'm not pregnant. Um, but when I really think about it, the signs were there. Um, I was extremely moody and cranky out of nowhere all like for a few days and then the one that really got me was I was hungry constantly hungry and if people who know me I eat very small portions of food I get full really quickly I am not somebody who's constantly hungry and this was like a I would finish food and be like I need more more in me now um since then constantly have to pee constantly extremely tired and my boobs are a little sore. I think that's about it. Drinking water, lots and lots of water, which if you know me, it's a very rare thing. I don't drink lots of water. Um, so yeah, that's been that. And um, just six weeks into pregnancy. Not much to share about it. Don't know what to share about it. Um, but it's definitely... Yeah, it's definitely going to be a journey. One I'm excited for, but also nervous for. 
and one I'm not doing completely alone, but I'm definitely not doing the way I planned on doing it. So, wish me luck. <laughs> get time alone in the house to make these videos updating so I am now on week seven of my pregnancy um, that began two days ago on Sunday because today's Tuesday and um I don't know what to say really I don't have a lot of updates um, overall I've had a pretty easy pregnancy so far you know it's only week seven um, I haven't had a lot of morning sickness which is nice um, but I have like Last week, during week six, like, constantly tired. Um, not as hungry as much anymore. Definitely, like, less hungry. Food doesn't sound as great at the moment. Um, and I had to actually, like, my second time I've taken one of my bar three classes and couldn't finish it because then I, I felt lightheaded and sick in those. So... Hoping to get energy back to work out soon would be nice. Um, but yeah, mainly just being tired a lot and not feeling great or good per se. But overall, it's been a pretty easy pregnancy. You know, I'm just having to pee all the time and being tired. So I think that's all I have to say about week seven. I have a crazy week ahead this week, which I will try to get some vlog footage to add to this lovely update but yeah so week seven here we go next week's my ultrasound 545 and I got everything that was over here over here and I packed and boyfriend's here he's taking me to the airport hi what a good boyfriend yep <laughs> so tired <laughs> I was just painting my nails and of course, this nail. Mm, of course, this nail right here got all fucked up. The fun life of nail painting. <sighs> so look at I am already. I don't think I've explained this vlog. Um, I'm in Portland for a wedding. I am going as the date of my friend Nico. So yeah, although we haven't really seen Portland, and we leave tomorrow. And of course, when we did go to downtown Portland yesterday, my phone died, so you don't get much footage of that. But it was beautiful from what I did see. Also, thank God the wedding we're going to is not a outdoor wedding, because the weather's gloomy. So, indoors in Vancouver, Washington, just across the river over there. That's about it. Wanna see my outfit? I'm disappointed because it's last minute. You can't really see. Um, I'll just do it this way. So I got my makeup on. Got some jewelry I bought last minute at Target. I don't even know what my hair looks like. Anybody? I. It was difficult. My dress. And then I'm just wearing wedges. So. Yeah. And then Nico forgot his bow tie, which is an amazing bow tie at home. So. Yeah, that's all I have to share. Look at that mess behind me. I don't know. I just wanted to vlog right now, wasting footage. Ooh, great quality. I look great. <laughs> um, so it is week eight, eight in one day, if we're gonna be exact, of um, my pregnancy. I just had my first ultrasound. Uh, I wasn't allowed to film in the ultrasound, so sorry, but here it is. That is a uh, little fire fly. That little blob is my baby. It has a heartbeat. Um, so it was cool to see the heartbeat. I don't get to hear it yet. Um, we did the estimated uh, due date, which is April 3rd, which is what I expected it to be. Everything looks good so far. As far as how I'm feeling, it's just very tired. And today I'm feeling a little nauseous. Um, and I'm hungry right now, so that might be why I'm feeling a little nauseous. I'm craving a McDonald's cheeseburger, which I shouldn't be having because I'm allergic. But apparently, I, my body doesn't like gluten, but 
this baby does. Um, and so, yeah, I'm definitely, I feel like I'm cross-eyed right now. I'm just tired. And I'm breaking out. I went to Portland. That was fun. Uh, sorry. No real uh, baby problems there. Ooh, fun fact, did run into somebody I know at, well, I saw somebody I know at the appointment, and I haven't really told anybody, so that was, luckily she didn't see me. I was, like, sitting there looking at my ultrasound, all happy, and then I look up, and I'm like, oh, I know that person. So, yeah. Um, and that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to share. I have another appointment in, like, two weeks, and, um, yeah. This is an experience. It's definitely becoming more real. You know, there's a difference between knowing you're pregnant and then seeing you're pregnant, like actually being like, oh, that's in me. And then I'm sure as I actually like start really physically showing, it's gonna be definitely an experience for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. So, well, I mean, I know what to do with it, yeah. And I love my doctor. My, that's my only, my only thing that I'm sad about is my doctor doesn't deliver at the hospital that I um, want to deliver at. And I've kind of always wanted to deliver at this hospital, and I've never wanted to um, deliver at the hospital that they deliver at. So that's a little bummer. Um, she did make a good point for why this hospital is a better hospital, um, which I've never seen it as a better hospital. I have personal experiences from that hospital. Um... But so yeah, that'll be interesting to see for sure um, how this affects my decision. Yeah, that's about it. Bye. sitting on the couch. I barely get time alone at this house, so when I do, I'm pretty much not dressed or, you know, looking pretty, and I don't know how long I'm going to have, so I try to film whenever I have the free time when nobody's in the house. Um, so I'm going on, I started my nine weeks, yeah, nine weeks started yesterday and Sunday, it's Monday, and oh, I'm getting some cat love here just nobody's home so I'm the only one here to love them apparently <laughs> oh my gosh so many cat eyes where's the other angle anyways all right uh so yeah I'm on my ninth week of pregnancy which I'm starting my third month of pregnancy and that's weird to me and the whole it's you know as this progresses so far, the concept is weird to me. Um, and I'm weirdly having a very easy pregnancy so far to the point I was talking to uh, my boyfriend yesterday and I was like, you know, it's been so easy now that I'm really terrified of the next two trimesters. Cause I'm like, something has to, like I, I, something has to not be this perfect. Like that's, you know, I've had very minimal nausea. I have n had no like actual morning sickness. Um, the only thing that's really been hard for me is being tired constantly and then being a little moody. And I've noticed within the past two days of going into my ninth week too, that I've already started picking up having more energy. And I'm not trying to brag by the way, cause I'm very aware that this is not normal. Um, but I'm going into like, yeah, having more energy and um, being less mis The only thing I've noticed that kind of sucks is I just, you know, breaking out more and um, not being able to sleep that well. Um, and that's about it. Just a crazy journey. I hear the heartbeat in like, like next week. I think it's next week or the week after that. So yeah, just craziness. So much craziness and changes. And I want to tell people. So many of my friends are announcing their pregnancies and I want to start announcing it. I can't wait. <laughs> so it is nine weeks and six, no, yeah, nine weeks and six days. And I've gone on my first hike while pregnant. Ooh.